Can we just talk about vintage Dooney for a second? Because I want to show you my collection of vintage Dooney and Burke. So if you're interested, then stay tuned and watch. Hello, my name is Andrea. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me in the babe cave today. Uh, first off, I just want to dedicate this video f to my dog that we had to put down over the weekend. Uh, it was a Saturday, I think the 12th or 11th, I can't remember the date. So she was my first pet that I owned and I had her for over 15 years. A lot of people can't say that. I had to make the hard decision to put her down. Uh, and she was a good friend and she, uh, it was time and I had to make the decision, unfortunately. So this is a dedicated video of vintage Doonies and what to look for and my collection and plus a reveal of a new one I have. And it's dedicated to my dog Lily and I'll put some pictures up here for you to see. I got her when she was three months old. When I turned 30, I bought a house, I bought a dog. <laughs> and she uh, played with gardener snakes. She played, she ran out of the house multiple times and almost got ran over, but she survived a really long time with multiple dogs that she mothered throughout the years that I had her. And I'm gonna miss her and uh, but sorry for the little tribute but when you've had a dog that long they're part of your family and I feel like these vintage bags some of them are classic and timeless and give them a shot there there's some really great quality Dooney and Burke bags that are 20 plus years old and I'm going to show you those now if you're interested <laughs> And I have shown uh, this quite a few times. And it's the Teton bag. It's a crossbody. I've showed it a lot. And uh, Linda says I should try the crayon method, which I am scared to do. But I kind of want to try it all at the same time for you all. <laughs> but yeah, it has some scuffs on the corner, which is kind of normal for these age of bags people wear them and and I wear them so uh you know something to look for on the Tetons is well it has the solid brass hardware and on here it says solid brass so a lot of the vintage had solid brass this did not come with the little duck fob the inside on the inside, you're going to have the, the basically the same color, uh, which is the navy. And also, of course, you have to look for the tag. The Dooney and Burke Made in the USA tag. And on the back side will be a serial number right there. And also the leather is going to be more pliable and not plastic feeling. It has a really nice pocket back here for your phone. No feet. This is the interior of this one. It has that, they made a lot of the pockets similar with that look like this. Sometimes there's a sticker on the back that tells you the style name. This one does not. Uh, these are a little bit rare to find, but there's the inside. Okay, sometimes on the rivets, right, where the, the handle is, it's hard to show, uh, it'll say Dooney and Burke as well, but not always. So that's not always a telltale sign. So this one does not, but I have some that do, and I'll show you. But yeah, this is a, a great crossbody bag, the Teton bag, and I'm not sure when this collection came out, but... They have a bucket style bag, they have the crossbody, and a couple others I believe. Um, I'll try to pop up some pictures 
over on the side so you can see the different styles that this came in. But this is the Teton bag. Next up is the large Essex bag in the color taupe. Again, it's a very worn in, pliable, you'll be able to feel, if you go to a thrift store and see a Dooney and Burke, you're gonna feel whether it's leather or plastic because they'll be stiff versus this one that is pliable. But this one is worn in, has some missing color and you know, but it came with the actual Dooney duck. I can turn it around right here. And these are the all weather leather. And it should say on the patch right here, all weather leather. It's sewn in on the top. And here's what the bottom looks like. It has a hard little shaper at the bottom. Same brown pocket right here. No sticker on the back. And there's the Made in the USA Duty and Burke tag with the serial number. And also solid brass hardware. So this is the the large size. There is three sizes. There's the small, the medium, and the large, and they're, they don't vary that much in l the length of this one's 11, and the length of my other one, let me get to it, is 10. So this is the medium. I am going to do a comparison video on the medium and large Essex bag, so stay tuned for that. And this is my beautiful, beautiful red one. I can't say enough about this one. Again, I don't I never pay over $50, $60 for these vintage bags. And yeah, there might be a, you know, some corner wear, but look at this red. It's so vibrant. And uh they both have feet on the bottom. I forgot to mention that. And that nice back pocket. And on here it shows the Dooney and Burke actual on the rivets. And here is the fob again. And the all weather leather. Let me open it up. Red inside. Beautiful red inside. Even the rivets at the bottom. And the same brown pocket. And this is cut. And I'll explain that in the future video. But very authentic beautiful pebbled red leather feet on the bottom and this is the medium Dooney and Burke Essex bag I'm saving the reveal for the end so you gotta stay tuned the next one up is my carrier bag and it's the large size and this also comes in a rectangular size and then a square size and some of those are harder to come by this is the most popular one and it really is a great bag. It has the top handle. It has the darker trim. This one's in really good shape. Again, I didn't pay probably more than $50 for, you know, vintage Dooney. Uh, you'll, you'll be surprised at how much you can get one. But some of them are beat up. I mean, you have to look at all the pictures. <laughs> and you have to determine if you are okay with some wear because you know over 20 years old you know these bags are so they're not going to be in pristine shape but yeah that has the the dooney duck it's puffy and really nice of course it's another all-weather leather brass hardware here's the top of it my favorite back pocket amazing here's the bottom of it and this is like a taupe color with that dark brown. And here is the little fob. If I could show you. The little leather fob. And it has a nice turn lock. Look how shiny this brown is. It's really nice. It's This leather, again, you'll know if it's fake. If, if you can't bend it like this by touching it you'll know you'll know a fake 
I mean, yes, they're probably super fakes, but there's always a telltale sign on these bags. And I think these were faked so much in the uh, 80s, 90s, 2000 because of how much these were at that time. These bags were probably over $300 and that's a lot for the 80s and 90s. So a lot of fakes have been produced, knockoffs. So you have to be really careful and know what you're looking for when you're looking for one of these bags. So let's go on the inside. <laughs> Again, you know, has the, the suede underbelly and on here, on the rivets, it says Dooney and Burke. Another tell sign, I mean, they have their name on the rivets. Like I said, not all of them. <laughs> and on here is the tag, of course. Look for the tag with the serial number on the back. Made in the USA. And... That giant brown pocket. Here's the pocket. It has little tiny slots, like little pockets. <laughs> two, two on, and four, six pockets. And then there's also a zipper pocket. But yeah, the uh, this part's dirty. I don't know how to clean that exactly. I'm sure I could figure that out because this is a really nice vintage bag for sure. And here's the interior of this side. Just that raw leather. But who's really looking inside your bag? You are. <laughs> but do I wanna clean it? Yes, I do. But this is a great, great carry. If you like the styles of the Pochette Matisse or the Coach Cassie, this is a similar version to that in my opinion i mean it has the top handle it has the crossbody strap solid brass hardware i mean look at this bag shop vintage <laughs> okay on to my newest thrift find so the story behind this bag before i show it is we went to a kids resale shop and the owner is a bag handbag fan and sprinkled throughout clothes and baby backpacks and whatever you know baby bags there are handbags usually coach and I've sold a couple of coach things that I bought in there she has them reasonably priced well this one we have seen at least two to three times still sitting there and I'm surprised that it was still sitting there, but then I decided to, well, let me show it to you and then I'll explain. So here it is, the Equestrian in navy and I believe this is British tan. But so this was for sale for $69.99. It'd been sitting there, we noticed it before. My husband's like, why don't you just ask if they'll take less since it's been sitting there for a while. And the condition is amazing, okay? So yes, it was it was worth 70. I just didn't want to pay it. <laughs> um, here's the side. And here is the bottom. The equestrian style is one of the first ones that Dooney made, I believe. Um, here's the back, has the duck, really pretty. So I asked them to call the owner to see if they would give me a deal since it's been sitting there. And I, I know that it's a local, you know, owner shop, so I was brave and asked if they would call the owner. She did. She gave me $10 off. I'm like, okay, thank you. And I grabbed it for $60. <laughs> Again, the, the bag is just about pristine. I mean, look at it. You know, there might be somewhere right there. And that's the only thing that I noticed of the wear. Even the brass looks really good. Here's the side with the brass hardware. The the fob even looks like it, like they've just been collectors also and kept it beautiful. And it's the all-weather leather. So it has a back pocket, which is amazing. And you see that 
blue inside pristine so let's just open this up for you I couldn't beat $60 because of the condition of this bag look at the like this the inside leather it, suede is basically pristine there might be a little something but it's it's clean it has this kind of pocket like I just showed you it's a nice size bag too I'll give you the measurements here in a minute. I wanted to show you, marked it down for me, $59.99. And here is the, this is the best part. A lot of mine don't have the sticker behind. This one actually has the style and sticker on the back. Like, that's hard to believe. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they bought this new and just kept it forever. Um, here's the tag you know that you look for with the serial number on the back like I said the rivets uh, I don't know if I'll be able to show you the rivets right that holds the shoulder strap on this bag does say Dooney and Burke I mean those details are important I mean like I said not all mine have that that detail but if you see that it's for sure it's authentic if it has that and this tag it's authentic so here's the bottom like I said it's super clean super duper clean it doesn't have the all-weather leather here uh, I don't know when they started that but it's not like the other bags uh, the Essex bags to show that but it has this little flap here and then you just do it the same like the Essex bags down super nice bag let me uh, give you the measurements I believe there are different sizes for that are called different not equestrian bags but let me get you details on that oh and this is of course adjustable crossbody I believe it says solid brass this one does not say solid brass on it I don't know uh, if all of mine say solid brass but this one does not so I'm not sure maybe some made it and some made later they weren't solid brass I'm not sure now <laughs> I might have to do a little more research on that but let me but, give you the dimensions I know this is real it's authentic the strap it looks the same you know same coloring so I'm sure this is the original strap so this bag is 11 across 7 high and about 3 from down here depth gorgeous I mean look at this duck has the duck on the back instead of the front back pocket beautiful crossbody I feel like I got a steal because I've seen some of these equestrian bags going for upward of $200 so and this one is superb look at the pebbled leather all weather leather very nice let me show you what it looks like on me I have one hole left so it's almost on the longest setting I'm five foot six super cute I love this bag as a reseller thrifter this is very tempting to to try to sell again but I think that I'm going to enjoy this bag and I will think of my dog because this was the day that we went to find this well <laughs> we went thrifting and that morning is when we put down my dog so it was to cheer me up and it did and I will always miss Lily so I might call this bag my Lily <laughs> but I'll uh, throw in some pictures at the end she was the cutest little mutt you ever saw she <laughs> she would not hurt a fly and uh she was just a they told me she was a miniature pincher chihuahua mix but she she was like 22 pounds 
anyway thank you for watching i hope you liked all my vintage and especially my my equestrian bag that i think i got a steal for and uh do you have some vintage dooney and which ones do you have because i'm always looking i mean like i said i'm a reseller i'm a thrifter i have bought and sold all kinds of vintage dooney coach every you name it <laughs> So if you ever want advice or things that I look for, brands I look for, um, then hit me up down in the comments and uh, thank you for watching and I hope I didn't make you sad. I just wanted to share, you know, a little bit about my dog and she was with me for a long time so I, uh, she was a good buddy. So now she's in Rainbow Bridge, heaven, whatever, doggy, <laughs> in the doggy place. So uh, anyway, thank you again for watching. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, comment down below, and uh, talk to me. I like talking to you all. So, And don't forget to hit the bell in case you have missed my videos. That bell will alert you of my videos. So thank you again for watching. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.